Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. I am a part-time reseller and today we are going to finish up the month of April for what sold. I am proud to say I, this is like the first month I have officially done the entire month. So whoo, it's that end of school year, the month of May. Oh my gosh. If you have a child at home of school age, shoot, even preschool years, it's a lot. So it's a countdown to summer. All right, this is going to be for the final week of the month of April, the 24th through, no, the 23rd through the 30th. And I have sales on, I had one Facebook marketplace sale. I don't list on marketplace. My husband does whole other thing. Um, I won't be able to show you the listing that sold. I had to Google a photo because his Facebook got hacked which is so crazy. And they listed like 97 listings for a fake Airstream for like $1,500, which if you're not familiar, that's a steal. And oh my gosh, when he finally got back into his Facebook, he had like hundreds of messages and it has been a nightmare for him trying to deal with that. His, his normal Facebook is fine, but he is locked out of marketplace. He finally is dealing with a human, which is crazy that that exists. And it's just a back and forth. And we're hoping that all of the rest of his listings are still up. He is the one that's been selling all of our palette items locally. So it's going to be a huge bummer because we don't have those photos backed up as we list items. He and I both, we delete them from our phones. So <sighs> um, I did give him a few things to list for me, uh, for shipping just because you'll see. Uh, so, and then I have Mercari, Poshmark, and a couple kid is in sales for that last week. So the month of April ended up quite well, in my opinion, like this was a great one week for me. Um, so we're going to go through it and, but here we are now today. When am I recording this halfway through May? So I'm a little behind once again, but what's new. So that's one thing you have to know about me. All right. Let's see. Let's share my screen. All right. This is a cloth diaper. The brand is Bum Genius. We cloth diapered our babies what feels like a million years ago. So I knew this to be a good brand. I came across, I think there was 11 of these at the uh, Goodwill outlet at the bins and scooped them all up. So at the time, I think it was $1.29 per pound. And so I had $5.81 into this bundle. I didn't list them on any platforms just because as someone who purchased a lot of used cloth diapers, I just wanted to see more photos than I'm allowed. And because there were so many diapers, like I think, what is it? 12 photos on Mercari or whatever. So I ended up not doing that. We just put it on marketplace for a while. It was just local pickup. And then I had him add shipping and literally the day after he added the shipping option, which shipping was like it was a lot. It was a seven pound box, I believe. Um, but someone paid for it. They went from Florida to Tennessee. So it sold for $148 and 36 cents. So after the Facebook fees and what I had into it, I made $119 and 19 cents. So if you are someone who is not familiar with cloth diapers, if you find them at the bins or for super cheap, they will sell. And yes, used diapers sell. I know some people might think that's gross, but I'm telling you a lot of times moms look for used ones rather than new because they've been like, I don't even remember the terminology, but they're just more absorbent. They're ready to use. You can put them out in the sun to get rid of the stains. It's a wonderful thing. So random tip, pick up the cloth diapers. Now, not all brands are created, created equally. I would suggest you check comps, but there's several of them, Bum Genius, Grovia. There's some like Alva baby that are, you know, the cheapy ones. I would not pick those up, but anyway, let's move on to Kittizen. We all love to sell Patagonia. If you're new here, I do sell a lot of kids items. And in my opinion, I sell, I watch a lot of what sold videos. I know these aren't my videos that get the most views, but I personally think they're the most important videos I put out. Most of my watchers are fellow resellers. And this is how I learn. I watch what's selling from other people. And I think that like even these kids items, $35 for a jacket. Hey mom, I'm making a video. My mom is coming to say hello. Y'all know by now she lives next door. It's a beautiful thing. So anyway, 35 bucks for a kid's little rash guard. I see a lot of people selling women's items for the same price. That's what I'm trying to say, but it's cheaper to source, cheaper to ship. So this, did you need me? It's going to be a while. <laughs> um, I have not planned dinner. I was going to do leftovers unless you're going to cook tonight. 
Oh, mom is cooking. I'm Michael did my hair, mom. So those of you that don't know, maybe you've heard this. My husband does my hair for me. And it's one of the last videos. Well, I might record a few today where you'll see all of this. I'm chopping off about 24 inches tomorrow to donate. So he did my hair for me so I could do a whole bunch of videos and take a couple before pictures. And I wanted my hair nice because I'm going to chop off, you know, the ponytail to send it. And so anyway, side note, um, my husband, he's just amazing. He's the Pinterest King. He can do hair. He's the best. All right squirrel. Thank you guys who stick with me, even though sometimes I'm just, all right. Now I will say this jacket, I did spend a lot of money for here's why I got it for my daughter, even though it's blue, we don't discriminate colors around here and it didn't fit her. So I did pay $20 for it. I just love that it zips up uh, because we're in Florida. We are in the pool lake every day. So anyway, I did pay 20 bucks for it from a random little used clothing boutique I found online, but it sold for $34 and it gave me a net of $25.77. So from here on out, I'm just gonna tell you guys what it sold for and then my profit and know that my profit takes out cost of goods fees and all that. So I still made a profit of $5.77. So I was happy about that, but she needed one size bigger. All right, these keen shoes I picked up uh, from that boutique for a week, like random pop up consignment sale, where I averaged my cost of goods to $7.13. These sold for $37.55. I do not offer free shipping on any of my platforms. So that gave me a profit of $17.89. Moving over to Mercari, I will just let you guys know uh, if you've watched my other What Sold videos from this month, I went to a local sale and found about 10 pairs of these little kids natives, brand new in the box, various sizes. And I am down, I think I had 11, nine or 11 pairs. I can't remember, but I'm down to only having two left. And they're the two that are in the smallest size. So you'll see, I sold a lot of these and my profit was around the same, even though I sold them for a little bit different. So I had $5 into these. This was a toddler size nine. I, my goal was to make a $20 profit or like around 20 bucks on each pair. So I, this was the first to sell and it sold within a day. So sometimes I, I just wanted to move things out. So I did accept and my profit was $17 and 35 cents on this pair. This pair, my profit, uh, let's see, they were a size eight. I made $19 and nine cents on these. This was a Disney green pinafore jumper, super cute. I picked that up at Once Upon a Child for $2.25. It sold for 19 and gave me a profit of 14. These little Disney Minnie Mouse sneakers. I picked these up at a local thrift for a dollar because it's Disney, I couldn't leave it behind and sold them for nine, but they did have to pay that $6.18 shipping. So I had a profit of $6.54 and listing shoes is my most favorite thing. I do the same photos. I take a lot of photos, but it's so easy. I do the side, the tag from the top, each of the sides, the backs, the toes and the bottoms. I mean, it literally, I can photograph 20 pairs of shoes in 10 minutes. I love it. So it, it did not take me much time to make $6 and 54 cents is what I'm trying to say. All right. Now these, I was happy to see these sell. These are the UGG classic comic boots. And these came in that cozy threads boots box. That was horrible. I am keeping track. Don't worry. I will do a follow-up video. I did have $2 and 25 cents into each pair. And I did hand wash these. Now the inside Sherpa was great. And the bottoms didn't show much wear, but the actual like graphics just, it just was dirty. So I listed them in fair condition. They sold within two days. So they sold for $21 and I made $15 and 74 cents. And I was thrilled with that, especially being that it's almost summertime. These blue and gray linen jogger pants I picked up at the bins. I had 78 cents into them, sold for 20, gave me 1634. These Footmates gold sandals I picked up locally for a dollar. That's a, this is a great brand to look out for. Um, I don't know if they make adult shoes, but the brand is Footmates and their shoes are all leather and they're, they, have, they make really cute classic styles. Sold these for 19, I made $15 and 25 cents. These Salomon teal kid sneakers. These were so cool. I wish they were my son's size. I had $3 and 50 cents into them from once upon a child. Sold them for $39, made $30 and 17 cents. Another pair of these natives, these were a toddler size nine again. 
sold for $28, gave me $19.09. This is a sad day. So this has happened to me now three times in the last 30 days, maybe 60 days on Mercari, where this item, I used a Mercari label, thankfully, shipped it out and it, it started tracking and then just went MIA. Like it just kept saying delivery delayed, delivery, and then it would say delivery expected May 2nd or something. And by like the 13th, the buyer was reaching out to me. Hey, do you know what's up with my package? So I got with Mercari. Mercari, I mean, I have heard people say that their customer service sucks. And I have had a not so great interaction, but for the most part, they got back to me almost instantly, said I was covered. They refunded me and my buyer because it had been over a week of the tracking not being updated. So I did tell her, I hope it still shows up for you because it's a really cool um, Game of Thrones shirt. So it's lost in land somewhere. Maybe someone will get it if they buy unclaimed mail someday. But this also happened with a pair of Joyfully boots, these really cool boots for like last month. And I mean, we both got paid out, which is great. But do know if it's an over $200 sale, you're not protected. So yeah, post office, I don't know. All right, so these, this one sold for my full asking price of $32 and gave me $22.57. So when I average all of the ones that I've sold, I am right at that $20 profit mark that I wanted. So that was great when I add five bucks into each pair. All right, these Pilcro and the Letterpress jeans, I picked these up for $5.43. They sold within 30 days. I, this is the second time I picked up this brand. I have not sold the other. So I was happy they sold for $27 and gave me $16.17. I do, oh wait, we are over on Posh now. I forgot to say that. What I was going to say is on Mercari, I do not use the FedEx Smart Post because I've had terrible experience as a buyer and seller with that. And I do not have a FedEx close to me. I use the UPS smart post and I've never had an issue with that, but I, it does cost a little bit more, but I've never had a buyer ask for anything different. So yay for Poshmark. All right. Next thing. These, oh, this is another like sad day, but I left, I leave these in here to show you that, um, this kind of stuff happens. Always check your items before shipping them out. So these were listed for a while. My items are inside in my air conditioned house but I always still take a look at them. And I've had these listed for a while, probably two years at this point, mostly because I didn't want to take less money because I knew that they would fit my own kid. And I thought they were kind of fun. Anyway, when I pulled them out around the edge here, like the, near the pink, um, it was almost like the glue was starting to seep out. So there was some yellowing and it was like all the way around the shoe. And so I did not feel comfortable sending an item out that didn't look like the photos. So I just reached out to the buyer and explained, I'm like, look, I'm so sorry. I had these listed for a while. It looks like the glue is melting out. I'm going to go ahead and refund your order. Again, I'm, I apologize. She was very thankful. Thank you so much. You know, whatever. So it turns out they are my daughter's size and she's been wearing them like every single day. So, you know, it ended up working out. All right. These, but they would have sold for $16. I didn't say that. All right. These Crocs are men's flip-flops, men's size 11. I picked these up for $7 which is high for a Goodwill. Well, it's a low price for Goodwill shoes at this point, but I knew that they would sell quickly. They did, and they sold for $20 and gave me $9, but I'm happy with $9 because I made it quickly. These mini Melissa little kitty cat shoes, I picked these up retail arbitrage. I had $10 into them. They sold for $29 and gave me $13.20. You guys know I love mini Melissa. I wouldn't recommend picking up this size. These were a toddler size five. They took a while to sell. And out of my natives, those red shoes, the toddler size fives are all that I have left. So I probably won't be picking up any more of that size. I'll start with size six. Seven, eight, nine is ideal. All right, this Nike pink t-shirt came in a thread up 200 pound bulk mystery box. I had $1.47 into it, sold for $13, gave me $6.86. This Lily Pulitzer white eyelet dress. I got this for my daughter to wear. I don't remember. It was, there was this particular event. By the time the event came around, we didn't wear it. I bought this on one of the platforms for $20. So I did have $20 into it. Sold it for $64 because it was a personal item and I had it for so long. I didn't include that in my cost of goods. So I made $51.20. 
this Genuine Kids Deer dress. This is a particular dress that people who love this brand, Genuine Kids, that used to be sold at Target, they seek out this dress. So a bolo, hard to find, whatever. It sold in 24 hours for $18 on Poshmark. And it was a little girl size five T and gave me $14 and 40 cents because I actually had this as a size up for my daughter and then realized like she doesn't need it. She's got too much in her closet. All right, this mayor all floral dress. I picked this up on an online website for $9 and 59 cents. Sold it for 30, made $14 and 41 cents. This is a great brand mayor all. Um, now, Sometimes the items will sit and sometimes they sell super fast and for a decent amount on the same lines as Mini Bowden as far as the pricing and the quality, in my opinion. So I thought this one was really cute. We were going, to, I was going to have one of my girls wear it for Easter and then it was 100 degrees. So these Vibram five finger shoes I picked up at that boutique for a week, $7.13, sold for 40, gave me $24.87. These little Tiva sandals, I had to find a, um, a stock photo just because photographing black, like I felt like you couldn't really see the straps that well. So I do try not to use many stock photos, but these sold very quickly as well. Um, these I had $1 into, sold for 16, gave me 11.80. These Thinks underwear, um, I love this brand. I love these. I picked these up retail arbitrage for $26.97. Sold them for 45 and I made nine dollars and three cents. But I remember buying these knowing I wouldn't make a ton of profit, but I was trying to get to the free shipping mark on that website. And so I counted as a win because I was able to score free shipping for items I wanted to keep. All right, this is a brand I will always pick up if the price is right. Um, they are where did they go? I don't see them on my paper. Hmm. Well. They are a pair of freshly picked moccasins. I know I had only $1 into them, which is why I picked them up. I, they were in play condition. These are little leather shoes, perfect for new walkers. You can see they had the toe prints. They weren't in that bad of shape, but cosmetically you could tell that they were warm, but the leather is just so soft. The, this brand used to get a lot more back in the resale market because they're not super cheap to begin with, but I ended up selling these for $10, which I'm pretty sure was my full asking price anyway. So. Didn't take much time to list them either. Happy with that. All right, these J brand jeans. These, again, like they, I couldn't get them to look cute at all. Like these came in one of my spread up 200 pound boxes for $1.47. I sold them for 18, made 11.21. They were listed forever. I think that was like my first box. All right, this Kate Spade crossbody bag uh, came in a thread up name brand handbag box. I had $21.50 into those bags. And this one was very much play condition. I mean, I said play condition. Please look at all the photos. Um, the outside was just very much faded. The inside was pretty great, but this is, I told you guys, if you watched that video, I learned purses are not my jam. You have to take too many photos and, and it's hard and cleaning them, but thankfully it sold for 40 bucks and still gave me a profit of $10 and 50 cents. This American Eagle swing dress I picked up at the bins for 65 cents, sold for $12, gave me $8.40. These Zara pink loafers are another thing I picked up for a dollar at this big local consignment sale that I went to. And they had some scuffing. I knew they wouldn't sell for much, but I knew they would sell quickly. They did within the first week. And I sold for eight bucks. So I made an easy $4.05. And these S by Skechers sneakers, came in my first Posey Threads kids brand new shoe box. And so I had $2 into those shoes, sold for $17 and gave me $9.88. So that was my last week of April. Uh, I don't have the whole month here, but April was a great month for me. I met my personal goals. I know some people are still experiencing really slow sales, but for me, as someone who, this is my Thing that's fun for me. Of course, the extra income is always great, but I'm just trying to do enough to see daily sales come in and not burn myself out. So that's where I'm at right now. The month of May, I'm giving myself a lot of grace with the lack of listing, um, but Posture VA is keeping my sales alive. I'm literally making daily sales on Poshmark because I relist using the relist delist option on Posture VA. I do have a discount code if you want to try that out. You don't even put a credit card info in until after your trial that link is down below. It was the game changer in my business. 
truly, and I wish I'd done it sooner. I also use list perfectly to cross post. That's been fantastic. And yeah, so I'm going to try to get a couple unboxings filmed for you guys because I've just got boxes everywhere and yeah. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful, what is today? This video is going to go up on Monday. I hope you have a wonderful Monday start to your week and I'll see you in the next one. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Bye guys.